Hi everybody. It's Lisa from Lisa Chase Kaylee and my blog, the scrappinmommy.blogspot.com. I want to share a mini with you guys today that I made. And this is actually a mini that came out of my unfinished projects pile. And I got working on it, got to finish it. So anybody that's um <laughs> that's familiar with my kids my son likes to pretend like he's a robot, and he makes his hands go and <laughs> talks in a little robot voice. And he, um, he's four now, so he's little. And it's, it's just so funny. So, this is to put his pictures in. And it's called Our Robot. Here's the charm. Little robot on a fragment. I love, love, love this charm. Oh, let me turn his face around. Love that charm. And there's some gears and some cogs and things like that. And there's some cogs and some screws. Some acetate. These letters are super cool. And you guys, I'm sure, recognize the robots as being cut out with my Cricut. Um... You guys know, anybody that's familiar with my work knows that I don't really do a lot with my Cricut. Um, this is back when I first got it, and I was excited to use it. Well, you know. Anyhow. I did cut the mini album itself by hand. I made the gears and some circles, so. But some Tim Holtz gears on here, some screws, the acrylic clear letters that spell R and I wired them up to the robot's hands and then some blue acrylic letters that say robot on the back here this actually opens so that I can put his picture behind the robot and then put another picture on here and just use some stickers and um, a little metal hinge to make that work then this page here there's a tag behind this robot for journaling. And it has a screw and some metal cogs on there. Some metal embellishments on the robot and things. Then this here. And this is um, like twist tie material. <laughs> Made a belly band with it. Little accordion album. And the next page, another little robot. This down here, if you guys can see, this plastic is embossed. And then I punched holes in the top of it and wired and, like, looped the wire through to give it a border. And then the tags. And the tags I used wire to make pulls instead of using ribbon on the tags. A little journaling spot. This one I did the same thing, the screw and the metal for the pull tab. Another little journaling spot. Okay. Then this page, this is one of my favorites in the album. As you guys can see. But it's actually full of nuts and um, gears. A lot of different sizes, so it's kind of cool. And here, this is one of those jumbo punches. I think it's an EK success punch. And this is from the collection, the paper collection. And this is um, Bow Bunny paper. Another little Tim, Hort Tim Holtz gear and a screw. More paper from the collection. This mini was tough for me to finish. <laughs> because this was one of the first ones that I started putting together so it's hard to go back and not change everything that you did <laughs> this I made a little pocket with um, a piece of wire that I twisted into a spiral and two screws a little photo mat journaling card with some springs on it fits right in there this next one is picture frame and it actually pulls out so you can put 
lots of pictures in there, and then a tag, some journaling spots on the back, some washers, some cogs, and the screw again. And then these gears here, if you guys can see, I actually cut a CD <laughs> with my die cut with my Sizzix, um, Big Kick, and I used the Tim Holtz gear dies and I cut up a CD and ran it through there. And it did not break my die, anybody that was wondering. Here's one of my explosion envelopes, but behind it is tucked this cute little tag. This is about this boy, and it gives a place for, you know, all the little info, extra notes, favorites. And then I used the screw and a gear behind it. And a piece of metal again. Same thing on the back, little journaling spot. I did that. Instead of ribbon, I used that again. Here on my explosion envelope, I used some washers and some screws. There was some embossing on the outside of this also. And on the inside, a little space gun and zap. I do have a tutorial on this envelope on my YouTube channel, anybody that's interested. Um, it's not the same dimensions, but I do give dimensions for a different size envelope. Same, same kind of explosion envelope. Okay, next page here is a gear shape page. These are on the shimmy springs. And I'm actually giving some of these shimmy springs away in my blog candy that I have up. Now behind them, you'll see the shiny again. I used CD again, and I cut it out with my circle die this time. And back here is a pocket. Some in, uh, it's a uh, gear that I used UD on. Another screw. More um, gears and metal. I love this stamp. <laughs> Cute little robot dog. And that just slides back in there. Honest. It does. <laughs> there we go. Place for a photo. And this next one. This gear actually turns and rolls down this photo mat. And those come out. Journaling spot. And here you can see that gear shape page. And those just tucked behind the little dog. I love how this little gear rolls. And I use um, UD and my daubers to paint that. And then this page here. These come out. Uh, it's tough to do one-handed. These come out like this, so lots of room for photos and whatnot. And there's a nice big spot for a photo here. And these actually tuck behind this little gear right here so that they don't come out. And that's the last page of my own, my mini. I guess I kind of went fast since I see the video is only about eight and a half minutes. But it's a it's a smaller book. It's chunky, but it's not very many pages. Um, short and sweet to the point. I do like it. My son's pictures are going to look really cute in it. Um, anybody that's interested, I do have enough material that I can put a kit together for you. Um, contact me if you're interested in the kit. And otherwise, this is my mini. And again, guys... Lisa, Chase, and Kaylee, and you can visit me at the scrappinmommy.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.